I think the appeal was that it wasn't obvious, um, you know, there was no gore really, there was, there's one scene um, where there's blood, but um, what I loved about it was that there were so many things that the audience could play with, you know, are these people really going through this experience and, and psychologically, like all the exterior factors that are happening in America at the time, the social changes for, for a young couple uh, in a country that, that had, was, you know, it was the Vietnam War, there was um, the Manson era happening in Los Angeles, there was also the kind of lipstick revolution, let's say, for, for, for um, women at the time, and the pressures around a couple so it's like, are they, are those factors also pushing them into this realm where they're open to this energy? And mm -hmm. um, then when, when the attack happens and my character has a baby, all those like chemical changes within you that, that also help, you know, in the dance of psychological um, mind games and things. And it can... It, there's a truth there, you know. Mm -hmm. and, and I think it has both sense. characters kind of questioning what's real and what's not. And yeah. I think that's what's going on in both of both Mia and John throughout. And 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 it takes I think it takes John a little longer to join the party and realizing that there's actually something very real going on here that needs to be taken care of and addressed. And Hysterical or, yeah. or yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. It no, was right. an interesting sure. part to play because like you you there are those stereotypes in women and um, pregnant women and then there's also the fact that you're in a horror film and that you want to play the truth but you also don't want to succumb to the hysterical female in a horror movie <laughs> you know what I mean you want your audience to not be fed up with you after right. five minutes so it was a fine line uh, getting her to be strong and believable and and but also vulnerable and 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 believable to to doubt herself yeah I think it was love at first sight it was <laughs> I think, <laughs> I think that no, I think that right from the start when we met each other, there was a good, uh, there was a good kind of rapport, rapport yeah. and um, we uh, we had fun together, and and we related to each other, and mm. uh, and technical things like, you know, John was very clear that he wanted um, actors who who had a certain um, feeling of the time, and I I definitely work in a lot of period uh, dramas and stuff like that, so. I think that that was one of the things he liked about me. And then when Ward came in the picture, he very much embodied like an old, old Hollywood kind of feel. And I think that it was just a, a good match, technically like that, you know, in a, in a visual sense as well. Mm -hmm. and, um, Posture, your every, I mean, I feel like everything, all of that stuff really changed the way you kind of hold yourself. Mm. Um, and uh, yeah, no, it, it definitely added, added value yeah, for me. Yeah, the reservations of the time, you know, there's so many, social uh, things that you have to apply as well, the way you conduct yourself, you know, it's, it's and it, it helps, you know, the fact that it is a period um, piece in a sense is that, yeah, it really helped you get there. Mm -hmm.